What is up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Dell, Sparky, back again like you never left. And today on Basement Operator, we're gonna be talking about plate carriers and what you get for the money. But before we do, I would like to say a big thank you to some of the supporters on the channel. First and foremost, Basement Operator, us, our merch. Yeah, go check us out. That's one of the biggest ways we fund the channel at basementoperator.com. You can find our merch. You can find all the bills we have, like this plate carrier right here. You can find- Stickers. Stickers. Yeah, and you can find our affiliate links, all right? So go check out Basement Operator. Next thing's next, Velocity Ammo. Freedom Seeds. Keeping the Freedom Seeds flowing here on the channel. So big thank you to Velocity. We love them, uh, been buying their stuff forever. And so big thank you to Velocity for supporting us. Next thing's next, Core Essentials. Actually, I don't know if you can see that. Now you might be able to. Core nice Essentials. Uh, we've been running their battle belts for a, a long time now. So big thank you to Core for supporting the channel. Go check them out. It's the battle belt, they also make a ton of like everyday carry. Mm -hmm belts that are have the same awesome technology that the battle belt has the little rail system in it that allows you to really lock it down and if you buy anything at core uh make sure you use code delp promo 10 and it'll save you 10 percent off sparky yeah we're gonna be talking about plate carriers today Options. we have some plate carriers that run a bunch of different prices so right. for people that don't know what's plate carrier so uh, it, very valid point uh, for the most part, these plate carriers are just vests. What would you use it for? Why? Uh, Why? To effectively stop, well, effectively carry plates that would stop- Penetration. Would stop penetration. We don't like penetration. And another thing, if you wanted to run them just like without plates, you could attach a bunch of different stuff and carry things with them. Or if you wanna look real cool working out. Exactly. That's one of the biggest things is look cool and all in the flat range. That's what these are for. But we wanna talk about some different price points. We have three different price points here. Plate carriers don't jump so heavily in price. No, like you, there's a very wide spectrum. There's a bunch of different brands that yeah. make them and they make them for all different price points. Exactly. You can spend as little as you want or as much. But I, but I would say it's harder to start pushing past like, to find a plate carrier that's more than $300 for the plate carrier itself, itself. It's is a, probably yeah. going to be more difficult to find. I, I'd say your your average majority nice plate carriers are two hundred bucks. Well, I was going to say one fifty ish, yeah. um, and once you start getting past that, you start pushing into the like the HRTs and the cries mm -hmm. and the, the the nicer higher the big end, stuff higher end plate carriers. Obviously, some of these have modifications from when they were initially bought or mm -hmm. purchased or picked up. Keep that in mind and we'll try to pick those out to make sure you have a clear and concise point on all this. And hopefully we'll come to a conclusion at the end or just hopefully give you guys a better outlook. We'll just on. give you a bunch of information. You yeah, can, and you do what can. you want with it. So this one right here is an Amazon exclusive. Oh boy. Um, I don't even know the actual name. Yak Eda. Bless you. Yak <laughs> Yakita. This is an $80 Amazon plate carrier. And what you see is what you get. Now this one actually has plates in it. These plates were from LAPG. We're not really including the plates in the price. Just the plate carrier. But for what you get for that $80. You get so a lot. You get a lot of options. You get a lot of options. All right, so first things first, you can see here on the front is Honestly, it looks a lot similar to the <clears throat> HRT. It does, you know. It looks, it looks oddly similar. <laughs> you get a Velcro section here on the front and then you get full Molly and it comes with your placard. Well, it's not really a placard attachment. It's a uh, just a Molly in section. Put your AR style mags. Yeah, your put your AR mags. style mags. Or whatever you want. You could take, since it's Molly, you could take it off and do whatever you want. Yeah. Well, the- Is the, it Velcro or anything? No, no, no. So the pistol mags come are- off. Okay. Come uh -huh. off. The the rifle mags are there. Are there. It's pouch. Yeah. You, you're 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 in it on the rifle. Yeah. So it comes with it. four pistols here on the top, and then you got your three rifles. They do have the velcros over, and then if you wanted to, you could shove the velcro back in there if you wanted to get like quick access on the stuff. I don't know if that's a hundred percent necessary, but it's just you got so, it. You got it. If it was my personal carrier, no, this one's not mine. It's actually being borrowed. I would take the pistols off the front. It's completely pointless to me but to each their own to each their own here on the side this comes with <laughs> literally an absolute you get insane all kinds of stuff. amount of mag storage you get the cummerbund wraps all the way around yeah so it does come with a cummerbund the cummerbund has rifles uh rifle mags in it mm -hmm. but you could also they're mollied in so you could pull these out yeah, if you, you want to you could do whatever you want with it. you can take I, it off yeah i definitely take it all off because i i think it's just overkill um it doesn't Velcro, baby. Velcro, baby. 
and you can see this is this is where you start running into eighty dollars. He plate. did. He done broke it. He I done broke it. it. I was trying to unvelcro it, and the stitching is already pulling off the side of it. But it's not yours. You can't tear it up. It's, it's an eighty dollars plate carrier from Amazon. Well, you, you but it's not yours. You can't tear it up. I'm not intentionally tearing it up. But you're tearing it up nonetheless. Quit that. <laughs> ah. Don't let him buy nothing if you like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna quit trying. Uh, this doesn't have a dedicated place for uh, the, the side piece armor. You know what I'm saying? Side plates. Oh, side plates. You gotta but, watch them but, side pieces. They'll get you. <laughs> you gotta watch this. Uh, but it has the same on the other side. Now, what this one does have, it does have a cool looking quick detach system because, you know, while you're buying $80 plate carriers from Amazon, and we're not biased, by the way. We're just saying. We just know what we like. They do have the quick detach feature, which is really nice. Now, I don't know how sturdy this quick detach feature is. You might uh, be able to do it a couple times. You might be able to only do it a couple times before it starts ripping. The plastic looks pretty thin here. And this is by no means a review. We don't, uh, we haven't spent any time with this one. Uh, we're just using it to compare. So this build, is what, build quality. This is what 80 bucks gets you. This is what 80 bucks gets you. They do have the Velcro, or not the Velcro, but the Buckles. quick quick release buckles here on the top, which are nice, you know. You do get a drag handle. You do get a drag handle and you do get plenty of slack in case you want to uh, reel it up there in the in the shoulder pads. And you also get a full molly. plate of molly there on the back if you want to molly in some, I don't know. An IFAC. Or, or an IFAC or something like that. The, the option is there and the cummerbund is removable. It's very similar to like every other cummerbund. You just pull it through the back. In terms of padding, which this doesn't seem it's to have- very all, minimal. Yeah, it's very minimal, but there, it's still there. I mean, the HRT doesn't have any padding. So. This one's, this one's got a bunch. Yeah, the that's one thing I like about the Testudo a lot is it has a lot. You just keep pushing me off this table, boss man. So, I'm sorry. Uh, it has a lot of padding. You can see here. Um, I guess that would be good if you're catching some BB soft rounds and, yeah, or, into, or, or some, some real rounds. Yeah. I don't yeah know. Right. But that's essentially what you get for that eighty dollar carrier. It's not the build quality is not, you know, awesome on it. I mean, as you can see, this thing, I don't think these guys ever worn it. Yeah, it, looked, uh, it, looked it looks brand back. new, but I just was pulling the Velcro apart. Broke it. I didn't break it. The stitching started to pull apart. So you get a ton of stuff for that $80, but you know. Quality. The quality is not really there. But it's only 80 bucks. It's only 80 bucks. Now, it seems very usable. Oh yeah, you get it's, the you plates, so many the, options. The plates fit in it just fine. Yeah. So I it mean. It looks good. And as long as it functions appropriately, I think it would be able to get by. Yeah, you know, it might not be something you're going to use every single day. Or abuse the crap out of yeah. it because you're going to start to wear down on this stuff. Like, I mean, just the stitching being pulled out of it, just by opening it, is, not good. it's not not a good look. But for, for someone that doesn't push their gear very hard or maybe only just, taking it to the range yeah. or maybe using it for airsoft, you know, it's, might be fine. it might be fine. But essentially, you gotta be careful, right? And too it, cheap, it's gonna bite you. Too cheap, is gonna bite you. Now, let's go to kind of a little bit more expensive of a plate carrier. This is mine. This the is Testudo. A, this is AR500 Testudo Gen 2. I bought this thing probably three, four years ago. I think one of the first videos I ever did with you was this Yeah, in that, in that plate carrier. Yeah, so this one. Oh, that one kind of got me into it all, honestly. Yeah, this was the first tactical thing I think I ever did. video was this plate carrier it's changed a lot since that one cummerbund it wrapped around i have since taken that off uh, You're just, not a cummerbund i'm fan. not a cummerbund guy no mm -mm, mm -mm. it don't doesn't work real good with all them chicken flay biscuits <laughs> so and i don't have any side pieces to hold so. yeah. <laughs> and one thing we he mentioned this a minute ago but the padding on this thing is ridiculous you can see how thick it is like you if, like i wore this wear it quite a bit and it is comfortable it breathes pretty well mm -hmm. um the pads appear real stout uh you still got the same buckles on the rear as opposed to the front, you got the drag handle, you got Molly on the back. Of course, all Molly on the front. It's got a little admin pouch up here at the top. And then I got my AR, obviously I got my AR mags and a Condor. Uh, insert. Insert. So it does the job. I mean, it's and, it was 170 bucks. And, and the people hate on AR500 a lot. But, but we have, I have a test studio. I also have a Valkyrie carrier. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good for the money. They're pretty good. Well. The Valkyrie is an expensive well, carrier, true. and they an AR five hundred. It can be very expensive Candy, stuff yeah. too. We're not saying this is like the most budget. It's this a is a very road. common. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have AR five hundred gear. It looks good. It runs good. It's held up really well. Exactly. Over the past that's three four years. Three four years old, and I mean, there's only a little bit of fraying, but that's. I mean, that's just that's normal wear. You're gonna use it. Yeah, but I, mean, I can uh, open my pockets and the stitching don't fall off. Exactly. So, 
<laughs> you said it was what, 100, 100 and some bucks? $169 a uh, chicken. And now, does that come with anything or is that just? Just, just slick. Okay. Yeah. Well, by, by slick, you get nothing. <laughs> you get the cummerbund and no like pockets. Right. I had to buy this condor insert. This is a good one. Like I said, good middle ish, high end. Not, not high end, but a good middle of the road. Right. You know, if you don't want to, if you want to get something nicer than this, but you don't want to spend the money on that, this right. is a good, this is a good option. And all you needed was the inserts. You didn't need the actual. Button. No, like this, this is all together. Yeah. Like that's all one piece where the cummerbund would have went underneath this. Right. The insert just slid inside. So how much was the insert? I want to say it was like 20 bucks. Okay. Oh. Condor stuff isn't that bad. No. <laughs> and the condor stuff, if you're buying stuff like inserts and stuff like that, they, they run fairly decently. Yeah. So let's talk about this one. This one is an HRT tactical rack or the RAC carrier. We've had this one and then we've had an H-Rack and I think we're gonna be getting out the next one, which is their LBRAC. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. They have a, a even more beefier mm -hmm. model carrier that we're gonna be trying out here soon. But this is kind of our, or my go-to carrier. I've went through a ton of them. Yeah. Um, not this carrier, but different plate carriers throughout the years. I've been, I've ran LAPG carriers, mm -hmm. which is another $80 carrier that we don't have anymore. I wish we did. Uh, but I think this is a better example because the LAPG one was a lot better than this one. Yeah. Uh, but the, um, you know, that, oh gosh, AR500. AR 500 and just other random plate carriers. But this HRT tactical one is probably one of the more expensive carriers. And for the reason being that the carrier itself, when we're talking about getting a slick carrier, I think this is 170 to 200, but I want Hunter to check that because I think I might be thinking of the H-Rack. And that's just for sl a slick carrier. You don't get the cummerbund. You don't get the, uh, you know, the walkie-talkie pouch. You don't get the hydration pouch here in the back. Uh, you don't get the placard system and some other things. But there's some things you do get with the HRT carrier that you don't get with something like yeah, that one. More this one and how HRT sets their carriers up, they run placards, which you could run a placard if you, you could, want. Yeah, you could attach the buckles. Yeah, you could get in there. But the placard system allows for more options, but they also have, it's the little things that, that when you start, so like this one has cord management built yep. into the sides of it, which if you're running like a walkie talkie, it's easier for you to route your cords with. Or hydration. Or a hydration, which is really nice. Going back to the placard, the benefit of the placard is you can take this front, whole front piece off and say you wanted to run your tactical shotgun. Take this one off, slap on a new placard that holds shotgun shells. Exactly. So the placard gives you options that, yeah. you know, you And you can get. set that one up. Yeah, because I think last year I ran, I just put a condor pouch here on the front that just held shotgun shells yeah. on top of this. But 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 the placard, you just click it and take it off yeah. and put it, on, put it on else, whatever you want. Voila. So then you just stick your either your pistol mags, your shotgun, whatever, whatever you want to do. Some of the other nice little things about this carrier, it comes set up for a backpack. So you can see here on the side, there is uh, zippers built into the carrier and it comes like this when you buy it, that you can uh, zip on your backpack, which, you know, is nice. Those two can only take Molly. Yep. Whereas this one has the zipper function for the backpack. So end so, of the world scenario. Yeah, and if you want to quickly remove this backpack and just set it up to where these zippers are all that's holding it, you can set it up so you can do a quick zip down mm -hmm. and then take your backpack off and you're ready to go. Yeah, like if you're getting in, out of, like in a vehicle, in and out of a vehicle. Yeah, and, and that is one of the things, like I said, that if you just bought a cheaper carrier, you, you wouldn't get on it. One of the things this kind of does lack is that, that one has a ton of padding. This one only has padding on two strips. So... And they're Velcroed right here, but there's padding in behind these Velcros or that you can push into them and you can feel like there's a little bit of stuff there. Whereas the middle, you can feel that plate. Yeah. But the plate shouldn't be sitting up on you. You'll have the padding there because I have curved plates in this one. Yeah. So it kind of will mitigate a little bit better. We've had this one for quite some time now. This is one of the, well, we use both of those in the class. Yeah, um, they both did their job. Both did their job well. This one does have a drag handle, just like all the other ones. Quick release to uh, drop it quickly, but they also have the cummerbund, which is a quick release on it. That'll drop it as well. This whole entire setup is probably looking at five, $600. If the I had to, thing. the whole thing. If I had to guess, and that's not including the walkie talkie. That's just including the nylon and Molly stuff that's on here. So all the attachments, all the attachments. When I, when I bought this one. I bought like just a whole bunch of pouches. I had no clue. 
I just bought them. I was like, well, I'll figure it out. And now I don't use any of them. Yeah, and, and that's that's one of the things, like, people want to get something that is, like, covered in pouches, covered in a ton of tactical stuff. When when you start to run this stuff, you're just like, do I really need it? No, I, and if you're running a belt, run a battle belt, I was like, oh, I don't need half the stuff on here. Yeah. Like, I can just wear the belt. And you can't move. Once you, If you had all this stuff on and it's packed out, ready to go, you're running whatever, nine rifle mags and six <laughs> pistol mags good luck moving like yeah, it's good luck moving fast <laughs> yeah <laughs> agile boy i mean even this one this one if you loaded this thing down it'd be a bear but you might want that for in, like you might want to pack the thing out and just leave it sitting in your truck it depends or, on use case yeah but, but if you're if you're buying one you know just for in the world scenario and i'm gonna stick this beside my gun safe to where when the world ends and the zombies come I that's just, what you're grabbing i'm grabbing this grabbing trusty gpr and i'm out the door i go if I was getting for the end of the world, I would definitely not would not get that one. I just run just. I I'd, wouldn't even put plates in it because <laughs> I, I don't trust anybody to actually hit me. So I mean, there there's a lot of different. Um, there's just you know how much money you want to spend, how much money you have, now, and how much money your wife thinks you have. Exactly, that's a very important thing. Don't get in trouble mm -hmm. for for your everyday dude. I would definitely say like that medium of the road plate carrier. You're just gonna be disappointed. Yeah, you're. <laughs> Maybe. It, it really depends on how much you're going to use it and then how what you're looking to get out of it. Like I said, I mean, we we haven't ran this one, so we can't really speak too much to it, but I I'm mean, it's, it's, all, it's already letting us down just by ripping a little bit, trying to undo the Velcro. I think for your, your typical dude, you know, this or, you know, even this one was just a normal placard. This is almost like you, this is for your job. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you're wanting something just bang for buck, you don't want, you don't have to buy multiple of. Because when this thing rips, if it doesn't have a warranty, guess what? You have to now buy a second one. You should just bought this one. Exactly. So, but like, so we're not saying you have to buy AR500 or have to buy HRT. We're just saying that it's it's worth to spend a little bit more money on the carrier to get a little bit better quality. It's gonna hold up longer. There's a lot of little things you don't think about, like how well the stitching's done, mm -hmm. and you know the quality of of nylon. Now I will say most nylon's pretty much the same. Yeah. right but it's how it's held together like the straps on this hrt they have tons of stitching on them Just whereas one. this one has one down the side you know i mean it, it it's making sure that velcro is sticking to that nylon to make sure it doesn't rip apart and where it's not you can going... depend on it exactly you can depend on it whereas this one there's one thing of stitching around it and you know there's not that much velcro on the inside of these straps and it's just it's it's not as I guess dependable yeah. and reliable as something like this or even that. But if you're ne either never going to use it, or your airsoft, or you, uh, which I mean, even airsoft stuff, them guys are pretty hard on their stuff too. So the weight might be a little bit different, but like I said, they're going to be hard on it as well. But well, they would have ripped it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They can't put a mag in it without ripping. Yeah. It, but so it all depends on how much you want to spend and what you're going to use it for. I would spend more than eighty bucks and get some a little bit better quality. Man, Buffy. you also don't need to get like a five hundred dollar carrier. To if, do the job. If it's just, yeah, especially if it's just gonna sit there. Now, if you're law enforcement and you're gonna use it every day, and you're aware, and, and your department's paying for it. Exactly. I mean, yeah, I may, might lean towards this one. But. Yeah, and I mean, HRT makes some great stuff. We know some guys uh, mm -hmm. that we, well, when we were up the course, they, they were they were law enforcement and they used it in their job. I know two cops uh, just from that that use them every day and they love them. And so we're big fans of them. Uh, we're also big fans of AR500. I, I would just stay away from the Amazon carrier. Now, that's not to say you can't find a random one that- That might be okay. That might be all right. And maybe it was just this specific one, but there's just little things that, you know, you need to be careful about and watch out for. With all that being said, we hope you learned a little bit and uh, we I appreciate didn't. everybody for watching. As always, take someone outdoors. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. Please. Yeah. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.